A Youth Jam Radio Positive Minute. Thanks for listening to YJR. Healthy relationships need healthy complaints. One way to do a healthy complaint is in a three-part message. It goes like this. When you, I felt or I feel, and then I'd prefer. Here's an example. When you said that in front of my friend, I felt embarrassed and quite humiliated, and I prefer you to keep things like that just between you and me. Now imagine the ball is in my court, to use a tennis metaphor. Um, Gottman Institute predicts extremely high likelihood of divorce in marriages if there's a healthy complaint made, but it's returned with defensiveness from the other person, and that becomes a pattern. So to keep using this tennis metaphor, if I return serve with defensiveness, or like I'm trying to defeat your point, um, something is said as a counterattack, basically saying, it's not my fault, it's your fault. Or the response is to whine and present myself as a pure innocent victim. Or I get into self-protecting with not-so-righteous indignation. It can turn into an underhand way of blaming the other person for being unhappy with my actions or inactions, and I'm not taking responsibility at all. Ouch! So, what's the antidote? For the silver medal attempt, take responsibility, even if it's only for the part of the conflict that's genuinely mine. So, even if it's just in the tone of voice that I used or the way I spoke that caused hurt. For the gold medal, show curiosity. Interesting. Tell me more about how you think I contribute to that problem so I can really get how it's hurting you. I want to listen because I don't want to hurt you that way anymore. Sounds dumb or too clunky. I wonder what a divorced person would say. I'm curious about whether they might wish that they had built that habit instead of a defensiveness habit. Relationship tennis is not the Davis Cup. It's not about defeating an opponent. It's probably more the intensity of a gentle way a coach returns serve to somebody who's quite new at playing table tennis with no aggression. So now I'm really curious about what might happen if you choose to do something about defensive tactics in your relationships. Anyone up for some practice returning serve kindly? Thanks again for listening to YJR. This has been Owen Robinson from morehope.com.au.